Right, Karen Brands, co-founder of Motec. Is that the correct pronunciation of the the uh, company, Karen? That's correct, Greg. Yeah. Okay. Motec. Right now, um, what is uh, Motec? Well, Motec is um, an Irish founded, owned, and based company, and we have partnered with Boots and Emergency Response Tunstall, based in Wexford, to launch the Home Assist service. And um, the product that we have as part of the Home Assist Service is a product called CareClip. So CareClip is um, for basically for older people. And it's a very discreet device that's worn on an item of clothing. And it has a number of features to it, um, including uh, location services, fall de- detection. It's connected to a response center, so you've got 24-7 um, response. And the whole um, objective behind CareClip and the service and what we're trying to do is to create independence for older people and give them peace of mind and allow them to live life the way they want to, to be in their homes, to be out in their community and to get on and do what they've always done. And uh, how does it work? How, say, for instance, the, the, the falling aspect of it, uh, how, do, how does that work? Yeah, so um, it sounds like an obvious thing to say, but when somebody falls, their body behavior changes. So, you know, they go limp or they fall flat down. It's not like walking, obviously. So within the device, we have algorithms, and those algorithms can detect the way the body is behaving and the body is moving. And um, That data then gets transmitted um, by GPRS and is analyzed, and it creates an alert to the, to the monitoring center, and that happens within seconds. So they can pick up falls, and then when that alert goes through to the monitoring centre, they will phone the person through the care clip. They have voice-to-voice communication, and they can contact the person immediately and go, you know, Mary, Greg, are you okay? You've had a fall. This is the call centre checking in with you. And if Mary doesn't respond, then they can go into a second phase of action, which is either to call the emergency services or call their next of kin. And Mary might respond and she go, listen, I've just tripped, I'm absolutely fine. Or she may say, listen, I have fallen, I think I need help, can you call somebody for me? So it's that immediate contact and that immediate reassurance that they're ne- you're never alone with the device on you. There's always somebody there. And there's also a response button on the device as well. So there is a, um, a reaction to, to a fall where the, the person doesn't actually physically have to do anything. But there is a panic button, response button as well, where the person can actively press it if they feel they need help, if they feel vulnerable, and they can press um, the panic and response button. And again, the monitoring centre will respond immediately to them. Uh, With this level of uh, technology and and monitoring, it sounds like quite an expensive system, is it? No, it's not. Um, It works off. It's it's a bit like it works off a SIM card. So um, there's a monthly charge of €18.99 for the service. But this, bearing in mind, this is a 24-7 service. So there's somebody there 24-7 um, ready to respond. Um, so it's 18 per month is what the service costs through Boots. And how, how do we overcome, um, uh, say, for instance, obviously people are indoors and what have you, uh, and the ability to get a GPS signal out? Yeah. Well, we have this. The care clip is a, was developed with critical service care in mind. So within the device, we have high-powered antennas that are specifically designed to pick up the best signals in, in, the, in the area through GPS and then transmit through GPRS. And we have done extensive testing on the product. So it was three years in development and one year in testing. And that testing included, for example, we had 200 loan workers um, through the NHS, basically in the highlands of Scotland, in areas where we know that mobile phones don't work and black spots where they couldn't take their mobile phones. So we had six months of testing in the highlands of Scotland and the, the connectivity is the best connectivity you can get. And um, we've tested it across Ireland. We have, we have semi-state workers as well who are loan workers that go into rural areas mm. and who also use the device. Now they, they use it um, again because they won't get mobile phone coverage. And um, we know we have the best connectivity out there because of the roaming SIM card, because of the high-powered antennae, and um, because of GPRS technology. And what network do you use? Uh, we use we use SIMs. We don't use Vodafone. We don't use your standard networks that you'd be familiar with, like Vodafone mm-hmm. or Telefonica. So we use Telenor SIMs. 
so um, they're not your kind of the consumer sins that people would be familiar with. I get you. And and what has the feedback been like for older people? Do do they like the, the? Do they find? Do they? I mean, you know, they have their independence, of course. Do they like that level of monitoring, or do they feel it's Big Brother, or, or what? What no, feedback are you getting? It's it's funny. Yeah, we don't. We, there's no issue around the monitoring or the Big Brother aspect to it at all because it's so discreet. Because what happens is you've got the monitoring centre who can who can uh, have the location services, but there's also a mobile app that family and carers can look at as well and see. And in fact, it's actually quite the opposite to Big Brother, because what happens is if I'm, for example, my mother uses this, she's 72, I don't need to phone my mother two or three times a day to say, "Mom, are you okay?" And so so it takes that away from me. I can just look on my on my app and see, "Yeah, Mom's fine. She's up. She's about. She's gone to the shop. You know, she's gone to she's gone to her bridge club." So actually, while people might think, oh, this is Big Brother, this is this is monitoring, it actually isn't. It's so discreet and it's in the background that the person doesn't even isn't even aware of it. And actually, it, it gives them a little bit of. Very often, older people kind of feel, you know, oh my goodness, you know, I don't. My daughter phoning me three or four times a day. So this takes that away. Actually, takes a little bit of that away from the whole process. OK. Um, now, just in, in terms of, say, for instance, um, someone's asking their, their uh, older relative is hearing impaired. How is that overcome? Um, there is. So the panic button on the device, it actually vibrates. So if you've hit the panic button, you will, you know, you will get a vibration. So you know it's gone through. And um, again, if, if the person can't hear and isn't responding to the voice on the end of the care clip, the monitoring centre will contact their relatives, their next of kin, or they will contact the emergency services. Okay, so in that so case, it's just that, that two-way that two way conversation with base. Just if someone's hearing impaired, there's no way of overcoming that. You just skip to the next, uh, the next level. fail-safe, but, and that's the, 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 the calling the family. Exactly. But when, so if the person is hearing impaired, the monitoring centre will know that because their information will come up on the screen. So they will see, you know, Mary is hearing impaired. So they will know, and that will be taken into account when they're trying to communicate. And that, that's why it will escalate to the next level automatically. OK, if people want more information, where do they get it? And just remind us of the cost again. The monthly cost is what? The monthly cost is €18.99. 18? 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 So there's two ways of accessing it. So there's, you can go onto the website, which is uh, booth.ie forward slash home assist. There's a phone number to call, which is 1-800-827-400. Or they can go in store. It's now available um, to speak to the, the Boots healthcare staff in the Letterkenny Retail Park. And is there an upfront cost? There is. There is an upfront cost of of one hundred and thirty, one hundred and fifty nine euros for the yeah. device itself. And do you own that's, that, or is that to lease it as such? Oh no, that's that you. You own it. Okay. Listen. Thank you very much for uh, answering those questions, Karen. All right. All thank right. That's uh, Karen Brown, co-founder of Motec.